In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the minimum sample size for a chi-squared test. This one is a test of independence. There's also a chi-squared goodness of fit test, and they all work the same. So here we go. In a nutshell, it's, it's five units per cell. Whatever you're measuring, if it's people or coin tosses or job types, whatever you're looking at, it should be at least five per cell. That is the minimum. That's the rule of thumb. So let me explain to you what that means. Let's do it with an example. And let's pretend we're going to run a chi-squared test between two nominal variables, categorical variables. One is gender and one is political party. So with gender, we're going to go ahead and list out the levels or the subgroups of gender. And we got female, male, and other. I do not want to start World War III with more than this, okay? So let's just pretend there's three gender levels. And with political party, again, we're just going to pick three, the big ones, uh, Repub Republican, Democrat, and other. So what you do is you draw a, a box, right? A matrix, a table, something that will separate everybody into one level of the gender and one level of the political party. So you'll notice we got this box would be female Republicans. The middle box here would be male Democrats. This would be other others. <laughs> okay. Now, so how many cells you got? These are the cells. You got nine cells. So a minimum sample size of five per cell. And you just put them all in there and then you add them all up. So that looks like 9 times 5 is 45. So that would be the minimum sample size for this specific problem, right? A minimum sample size of 45. So the rule of thumb is this. What you do is you take the number of levels from the first nominal variable and you times them by the number of levels of the second nominal variable and then you take that, whatever that product is, you multiply it by 5 and that should give you the minimum sample size Let's do one more quick example, make sure we cement this in. So we're doing a chi-square test. Uh, our first variable is type of therapy. And let's pretend it has six levels. And our other nominal variable would be ethnicity with eight levels. So what we would do is we would take, we would take six times eight. Let me get that up there. Right, six times eight, six levels of Types of therapy, eight levels of ethnicity, times five, that's the minimum per cell, and that comes up with a grand total of 240. So that would be the minimum sample size needed for this specific chi-squared test. And I hope this helps. MGZ, out.